Hey guys, welcome to the MuleSoft ESB free tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'll walk you through what is Mule ESB and create a sample, sample application. So let's get started. So let's first understand what's Mule ESB, what's the buzz, what in the market. So as you know, Mule ESB is the runtime engine platform of any point platform, which is a lightweight Java based enterprise service bus an integration platform that allows developers to build and connect applications together in a very quickly an easy manner to exchange the data. So it enables easy integration with existing systems regardless of any technologies. So, so as they say, you can connect to anything, literally, I mean anything. Yeah, you can almost connect to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Oracle, SAP. So you name it, they have a whole bunch of connectors. And the, the most interesting part is they have, they call exchange integrator. Over there, you can find a whole bunch of sample projects. So you don't have to invest a lot of time to build a new project. You can just import those sample projects and you can just get started. So let's get started to create a new sample application where you learn how you can create a first sample application. So as you can see, this is the Mules of Anypoint Studio. So over here, if you just go to File, click on New, Mule Project. Over here, you have to give a project name. So I'm just gonna give MuleSoft Tutorials. Tutorial then as you can see, they have the runtime environment. So in Mule, you can they have two types of environments where you can deploy your applications. Either you can deploy in your local machine, which is on-premise, or you can deploy on a cloud hub. So mostly developers deploy the, the application on a local machine, test it first, then it goes to the cloud depending on where you want to set, your, set up your production environment. Then you, you can just click next or you can just click finish and use the default Java which I have. Then you just click finish. That will bring up your project. So we're gonna start with a, not a hello world. Uh, we'll do a tutorial first. So I'll just close off this one as of now. So let's see, there we go, Mule Soft tutorial. I'll just clear up the console details. Okay, so drag and drop a HTTP adapter from here. So this is a connector where you can uh, use to send messages. So if you click on HTTP, that will bring up the HTTP over here, HTTP connector. So you can rename it if you want, uh, it's HTTP connector. Okay, then as you can see for HTTP connector in order to do, you need to add a new connection. So where you want to connect and the path, I'll just leave it as the default. Also, you can define methods, but which is a bit of an advanced concept. I'm not going to cover up on this session, so we'll cover this one in a later series. So, add over here that will bring up the listener configuration. You can change the port if you want, but make sure that port is open and no other application that are using that port. So, in my case, 801 is free, so I'm just going to use the same one 8081. And in the below, you can set the connection timeout. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave the default as of now and click OK. So it should be green now. Okay, there we go. So now what you want to do is uh, you want to send some test message, okay? So there's an option called set payload. So drag and drop the set payload element over here. And here you can define what you want to do. So I mean like over here you can do a whole bunch of things. You can manipulate or uh, what you want to get as you can see over here input you can define all these things so we'll cover this on the latest series as of now it's going to do a test so welcome to MuleSoft tutorial then just hit save okay and if you want to log how the application is running you can add a logger so that it prints the log messages so you just drag and drop here and that's it we are ready to go so you can change the logging level over here so as you can see trace one debug so it's up to you so as of now i'm just going to leave default and that's it then you just go to mule soft tutorial run as mule application and click ok and you are ready to go so this is our like first application to launch and you guys are excited to see so let's see once it start launching you'll be able to See why it's taking a while. Okay, there you go. So once it's completely deployed, you'll see 
it's initializing now so it, it will show the message that it has been deployed and you can it's ready to test okay so so as you can see there's a whole bunch of like spring components so MuleSoft is purely developed on Java based components supported by the, the spring developers so you have like an open community where you can post all your questions and get all your answers so it's it's quite easy to get started and also deep dive into advanced concepts okay so as you can see our application is deployed successfully so let's open up a browser window and over here if you click on localhost 8081 which is the configuration I defined in the beginning and if you hit enter there you go welcome to a MuleSoft tutorial and if you go back to the MuleSoft any point studio here as you can see we, we did logged the sessions over here as you can see it showed the details okay so the here is the listener and the logon message over here so if you if you put the debug on you'll see a whole bunch of other information also captured so that's it guys uh, I hope you like the tutorial thanks